start recording. Hello. Welcome back. We are back at the our thing, and today we are uh, we're continuing uh, the forum leakage project where we take uh, the uh, forum roleplay posts and uh, clean them up a little bit. Well, the cleaning up, clean up. Uh, extent my, might vary but basically we, we clean them up and uh, then post them under our reading samples in the website and right now we, we've been able to cut a whole lot of stuff mm -hmm. from this post haven't we yes because it's been dire but that's okay <laughs> we're here to fix it now <laughs> and remember when you gaze upon your old text, your old text also gazes upon you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with these particular posts, we might be editing a little bit more or rearranging a little bit more than we normally would within, uh, within the goals of this project. But since it's our player character posts, it's like... It's up to us. <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, we're not trying to achieve like proper clean text or anything. We're just... Well, we're cleaning up. Poking. Poking, yes. This, huh, is this the bit where he's like, oh, sorry, I was expecting someone else. Uh, so, okay, point one, uh, uh, th there are some bits that we need to process in, but in a v with a very light touch. To figure out there's some words, but the head headgear muffled them all. Uh, so basically, Smith is speaking up, Corey can't hear what uh, what she's saying, but as she as she examines her, uh, he he will. We we do need to add some words that uh, that identify or that show that Corey has I identified that the uh, harness is stuck. Oh, actually. <laughs> Corey examined the figure in the chair and noticed how tight the safety how, how the safety harness cutting harness 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 <laughs> into the protect suit pow on closer inspection it became very clear wait it also became very clear Should I say this was not his friend trouble? Trouble is so much more his partner. Mm. <laughs> Are you 
fucking nailed that. And okay, and I'm removing this as well. Remove this. Yeah. Now. Either he says it after he has cut her down, or he says that I was expecting, well, I was expecting someone else, and uh, and uh, he he uh, goes out to find something to cut the harness with. So basically, the part where he he is cutting our harness. Is okay. We shall cut a lot of details from here, but uh, we can sort of summarize this all by saying that Corey uh, Corey went outside, found a sharp metal piece, cut the tethers, and uh, and caught the figure before blah blah blah. I think this is most re like something along these lines is most relevant after mentioning trouble. Mhm. Mm and also the part where he says expecting someone else is part of my next post. So uh, keep the was ex expecting someone else, but uh, but. Uh, One of my neighbors is in his yard and he <laughs> is poking the apple tree with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> he is literally hitting it with a stick. Yes. I think he's trying to get the rotten apples down, maybe? No, yeah, he's trying to level up his skill, obviously. Yes, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Honing in the XP. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh. I think you can just cut the er uh, 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 and say sorry. I was expect huh. I was expecting someone else. Huh. <laughs> or or he could say uh, hello or hi there. I I think uh, I think sorry worked the best. Or like oh sorry. I was expe expecting someone else. Hi. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hi, hello, howdy. Uh, hi works. Pull this back. Yep. <laughs> Find metal piece, cut harness, cord figure before blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't know how I'd write that. <laughs> There's a character in Discworld called Cut Me On Throat Dibbler. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like a cutthroat salesman, basically. Oh. <clears throat> Every time I read that, I'm like, Dibbler! <laughs> <laughs> So, basically, I would want to cut most of what's there. Yep. Up until so when they when they are already outside and the dialogue starts. That's okay. Or like that's that's its own thing. Yeah. But this whole this this whole thing here, I would try to bring it down to a few sentences. And this is how you get your word count to a novella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your book is finished. Mm. Well, how long is it? 27k words. <laughs> have you 
Oh, that's very short. Why haven't you made it longer? <laughs> Desk flip. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, While you do all that, I will I will poke at my I will peek at my post already. Oh, it's very short. Never mind then. And I can al already see that. Uh, that this post should either end here or we should uh, bring it together oh, okay future editor note for the website maybe switch the posts over so that the excerpt ends with Coyote's post Ah, I think I have, uh, I have, uh, <laughs> I have imagined the leakage snippets much longer. So basically, let me move some stuff around. I'm sorry, I jumped your ship. And I will move these before Coyote's post. So now the posts are no longer chronological, but uh, but I'm thinking whether to give Coyote's post uh, its own uh, reading sample or. Or merge it with some latter posts. I need I need to think about that. Oh, okay, I can actually bring two Coyote's posts together and Ooh. uh and uh, organize some of our dialogue in be uh, in between them organize that together with our post and also keep it much shorter than it is Because uh, Coyote's posts are more like scene setting for the whole next reveal and uh, and all that. So let's not end it here yet. Highlight none. Core dropped down and stumbled outside. Good. <laughs> Thank he you. peeled a torn <laughs> bit of metal off the scrap ship. And return to the figure to cut her down. Okay. Uh, and now I'm horribly stuck, wounded and alone in the darkness. <laughs> uh, there is no so hope. It's like, uh, Basically, the idea is that he will either buffer her fall or catch her, or may maybe even uh, maybe even uh, prop her uh, prop his back up in such a way that uh, that uh, or like lean lean his back uh, 
lean the backs together in such a way that uh, that she's already supported when he's cutting the the final chords. This is too flowery, but it's yeah. <coughs> words for now. Not tether. Tether is the wrong word. Strap. strap. Something like that. Yes, yeah. Before the severing the the final straps, Corey readied himself. Severing the final straps, comma. Corey readied himself. And Cora ready himself to catch her or, or to catch blah blah blah. <laughs> well, you've tried. You've taken pilot out, so we can do figure there if you want. Uh, no, but the the figure won't no uh, won't uh, make sense anymore. It's like figure is when he observes that somebody's there. It's just a figure, and now. Uh, to catch the woman. Okay. So. Oh. The young, or, the or, young or woman. Stranger. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Cool. Oh, oh Dibla has, has to go. go. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll do, do it, it to you, half price, and I'm cutting my own throat. throat. <laughs> 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 There's another part in that game where you go to, like, a... It's like a replica of Australia. It's like the Discworld version of Australia, basically. And uh, there's a Dibbler there, and he's the Australian Dibbler. It's such a great game. If you ever get the chance to play Discworld 2, I highly recommend it. Oh, that would be the bell. I shall return shortly. I might have to help him with some shopping. So, mm -hmm. might be best to bank this recording and we'll come back to this in a moment. Okay. Thank Bye. you very much for watching. Bye.